If you're trying to get leads and sales from Facebook ads, I'm gonna show you how to take someone from never hearing of you all the way to a raving customer using Facebook sequential ads. Hey everyone, my name is Lewis Mudrich, and on this channel I actually cover Facebook ads, tips and tricks, Google ads, LinkedIn ads, and even SaaS conversion secrets. So if you want more of this kind of content, feel free to click the subscribe button and click the bell so you get notified every time I release a new video. But let's jump right into the content. So jumping right into it, what is Facebook sequential ads, also known as Facebook ad sequences. They're essentially a series of ads that allow you to warm someone up further down your funnel. So they go from cold, never hearing about you, see your first intro ad, then you can show them ad number two, where it gives them more information about what you actually do, ad number three, the actual pitch, and so on and so forth. You can also do this if you wanna tell a brand story and you want ads to show in order. I really like it because this allows you to really warm up audiences that have never heard about you. Because it's really hard to take someone from the awareness stage all the way to the buying stage relatively quickly, especially if you have a longer sales cycle. I wish we lived in a world where basically you go on Facebook ads and say, buy my product, and they've never heard of you. People are like, okay. But that only works in a select few scenarios. Most products or services are going to need some form of a retargeting sequence. Now, how do you actually do this? So before I jump into my screen and take you step by step in Facebook ads, I'm going to explain the overview. Your first ad should not sell your product or service. In fact, some of the best performing campaigns I have ran for service industry specifically, or high ticket items, especially monthly recurring packages, happen to be some sort of warming up sequence where the first video is really about value and less about buy from me. Remember, people have likely never heard of you at this stage. You wouldn't walk up to the street to a stranger and just try to sell them something right away. You would have a very low close rate if you did that, especially if that's a high ticket offer or you're trying to get like an annual plan on your SaaS or you're trying to get a monthly recurring client. And I've actually tried doing this. I've gone door to door trying to sell my website design services. Surprise, surprise, I had a very low close rate of doing this and spent all day on it. Here's a great way to do it. So first part number one, drive traffic to either a blog post or some kind of video where you're just delivering free value content. You know, just it's valuable to them to watch. On that video, blog post, whatever, have a content upgrade so they can download in exchange for their email something of more value that pertains to the content they were already digesting. So some common things could be like a cheat sheet, could be you know, a free checklist, could be you know, a free guide on how to do X, Y, and Z. Something that gives them an extra piece of information that they would find valuable because they were already on your blog or video digesting this kind of content anyways. So target a cold audience with this ad. It could be people that like your competitors' pages. It could be people interested in a certain subject. And if you have email lists, perfect. I actually have a video about how to use lookalike audiences. I'll put the link in the description. Check that out because you can actually use that email list to find really high valuable customers really early on. And there's no reason to go super hyper specific with Facebook ads when you're building these initial audiences because you're going to retarget them anyways based on their engagement in your funnel. This is why it's absolutely necessary to track people's behavior on your site. So you could have Facebook events set up for people who visited your site but didn't take any action, people who spent a lot of time on your site and visited multiple pages, people who downloaded your lead magnet, hit the thank you page, and maybe people who became a registration. So your second ad will actually use Facebook retargeting. This is the more consideration stage. They're past awareness now. They know you exist. So this is going to be an ad with a bigger focus on the lead magnet. The first one's more about value, value, value. The second one, you're really gonna try to push them to get that lead magnet, get that opt-in, especially if they didn't already opt-in. If they did, great, now you're giving them more content to warm them up even more. So you can even push them to a landing page on your site with a specific purpose to get them to opt-in. Or you can use things like Facebook Legion forms, which I have another video about that. Feel free to click the link in the description, where you can get people to opt in directly on the platform and just hook it up with your email service provider to send them the lead magnet right away. Because these people have already been warmed up a little bit by you know watching your video 75% of the way or clicking through your site, spending some kind of time on your site, whatnot, they're more likely to actually opt into this content because they've raised their hand that they're interested through their engagement. So the third ad will actually retarget people who have engaged with that piece of content in the previous stage. And this one is more closer to the buying stage. You wanna get them to take an action, book a call, email you about their questions, give you more information, audit their site, whatever it is you're selling, opt in for a free trial for your software. Now you're gonna retarget people who have opted in and these are people now technically leads. So you can send them ads, people who've opted in for your content, download a lead magnet, whatever, show them ads talking more about your product or service and run this one with a bigger push on the call to action, whether it's like some kind of urgency, 20% off if you buy in the next week, um, extended free trial, whatever it is, get them something to get them active. So then run this ad with more urgency 
And I'm gonna to get to the screen share in one second, but basically push people to a free trial and give them an extended free trial. Give them the 10% off your order if they order this week. Get a free strategy session if they book today. Stuff like that, right? Get them to take action right now. These are people who have already opted into your content and got some value, so they might be more interested to take an action if they're qualified, or if they're a right prospect. And you can also nurture them even further with email marketing. So enough about theory and overview. I'm actually gonna show you right now how to build these ads. So there's a few different ways to actually do this, and I'm just gonna show you my favorite and the easiest way to launch sequential ads. And if you couldn't tell by now, this is the same thing as launching like an ads funnel. So when you're in your ads manager account, you're gonna to wanna to create the first sequence, and this is pretty easy, especially if you know how to create ads already. Go ahead and click on the create button. Once you're in here, just create a new campaign. Um, I typically like to go for engagement, especially if you're doing videos, that way you can get some uh, people to comment or like. Um, you can also do video views campaigns as well if you wanna optimize for the most amount of views. Go ahead and click on the create button. We're gonna go for engagement. I want people to comment. I want people to like on the, the content. And we wanna create all the campaign stuff here. Um, I'm gonna turn off CBO because I'm not running a big enough budget for it to matter that much. I wanna keep it on uh, ad set optimization. And I'm gonna go for, yeah, I'm just gonna call this my uh, ad sequence number one. That's my campaign name. So you're just gonna create that, create your content, continue, you know, publish all that great jazz, upload your video. And now once you've done that, you have that ad running, let's say a few days go by and you have enough likes and engagement and views on it that you feel confident to run the second ad of the sequence. So go ahead and click create audience. We're gonna do a custom audience. And there's a few different ways to build this. For this one, I'm just gonna go after video views. So I'm click on video. So when you're creating your custom audience, you actually choose a source, the type of engagement um, for the video. So people have like watched 25%, three seconds, uh, 50%. For the first sequence, I typically like to start smaller. So people are like watching 50% of the video. Um, if you still can't get that, cause it's a really long video, maybe do seconds. That's another way to do it too as well. And retarget them based on this. And you can actually pick the video that we had created in the first campaign to be the first ad in the sequence. So when you select your video, select that one. So when you select the video, just click on here and then click the page that is associated with and select the video. And then the audience name, you can go ahead and name it, you know, whatever you need to. So this could be like ad uh, number two, uh, audience ad sequence two. So that I know that people uh, have watched People who have watched 50% of ad sequence number one, and then we're going to create the audience. So that's basically in a nutshell. You're just going to click create audience here. It's not going to be grayed out for you. It's for me, I was just showing you for example purposes. And then you rinse and repeat that process. Make a new campaign targeting this new ad audience here. Call it like ad sequence number two. Um, target people who have watched 50% of the first video and so on and so forth. And then make a third campaign doing exactly what I just showed you here, number three, target the people who've seen 50% of the second video and show them the pitch offer and so on and so forth. So it's super straightforward, not difficult at all, especially if you know your way around Facebook ads. So that's how you build Facebook sequential ads. And as I mentioned in the screen share, there's two ways to do this. And the main benefits of doing this is actually warming people up before you go and pitch them. You know, go, them, go on the first date before you ask them to marry you. Get them to know more about how you can bring value to them before you ask them to take an action on your site. And you're probably thinking, whoa, 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 I have to target people three times Times with ads before they can make a purchase decision? Yes, they've never heard of you. You're gonna have a better time doing this than just running one ad saying, buy my sh and then hoping they will book a call with you and buying it. And I actually really like doing this because you can learn where the cracks are in your funnel. If people are only watching like 25% of your first video and no one's watching 75%, then maybe you have something off there. Maybe you work on your content, maybe you work on your value pitch, something like that to actually get them to the next stage. Just running the sale ad doesn't really tell you too much because you can't really see where people are at in the funnel. You can't see if they're opting in for your content. You can't see which pieces of content they like to opt in more and optimize around that and you can customize your ads based on the level of engagement. First video is like, hey, this is me, check out my stuff, here's some free value, go to my site if you want, if not, I don't care anyways. And the second video is more like, hey, check out this free lead magnet. And the third video is more like, hey, let's jump on a call and see how I can provide value to you. Now you don't have to use videos, but I highly, highly recommend them if you wanna keep your costs low, especially while you're testing out different offers. And what are the best ways to use these ads? As I mentioned, I gave some examples of some industries it might be good for, but it's really good for software products. It's really good for if you're selling services or retainers for clients, much like I'm doing. And it's really good if you're selling a high ticket item like a course or something like that. And just to answer this one again, why can't I just send people to my product page, Lewis? I don't wanna do all this retargeting stuff. I just want them to buy. Why can't I just show them an 
that and get them to buy. Well, think about it. When's the last time you signed up for some big ticket item where you just saw a quick little ad that told you what it was, you went on and just spent 1200 bucks or 2000 bucks or signed up for the annual plan? It's not very often you do that. Unless you're someone who just does that all the time and just blows a lot of money, um, you know, call me. I got some offers for you. <laughs> but if you have a product that's gonna require some education, a little bit of nurturing, and it's, it's a high ticket item, you're not asking for $5 a month. You're asking for $200 up front then recurring you're asking for two thousand dollars a month whatever it is you're gonna have a bad time if you're just saying buy my stuff and this strategy still works well you know I was just watching someone's video content the other day and it was just value 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 um, they've dropped in their their course or the class they're doing and you know before I know it I was like wow this is really good content oh this is really nice and then maybe 15 minutes later I'm just scrolling through the sales page and thinking about do I really need this like maybe? and that's how it works that's how it gets you in the door because they provide value up front to then pitch you versus the old way of everyone just saying, here's my stuff, buy my stuff. Cause there's too much competition that's not gonna do that these days. They're gonna provide free value up front. They're gonna get the secrets up front to get people to get some kind of exchange and then wanna reciprocate by visiting the landing page and even at least hearing the person out because they at least gave them something valuable first before asking for a sale. So I hope you got some value in this video. Please leave a comment. If you have any questions at all, I will reply to them and throw a big thumbs up, a like on this if you actually found it valuable. All the links I mentioned are gonna be in the description. So check it out and see you next time.